so now we have a problem where we have a bullet leaving a gun. <clears throat> so the givens in the problem are the mass of the bullet, which is 0 0.03 kilograms, the velocity when it leaves the gun, which is 600 meters per second. So you know the gunpowder is what causes this like explosion in the gun. So it starts, of course, the velocity is zero. The final velocity is going to be 600, and this all happens in a matter of two milliseconds. So we want to know what is the force that the gunpowder explosion exerts on the bullet. So this is what Professor Hafner was talking about when he talked about Newton's second law originally being about change in momentum over time, right? That's what's written here. That's one of our equations. Um, and we remember, of course, that the definition of momentum is mass and velocity. Since we're talking about a change in momentum, we say the change in momentum is the mass times the change in velocity. We're going to ignore anything that happens to the bullet when it gets fired out of the gun as far as its mass. So in our solution, we say the force is equal to the change in momentum divided by the change in time. So then we fill in our numbers in our impulse momentum theorem, because that's what this is. We've got 0 0.03 kilograms times our change in velocity. Since you can use your noggin, I'm going to go 600 meters per second beginning, ending, zero beginning. Our change in velocity is 600 meters per second. And the time that the whole process takes is two milliseconds. So we're going to write that with scientific notation, two times 10 to the negative sixth seconds, OK? Because we want our force to be in Newtons. So you go ahead and put that in your calculator. And you get that your answer is that it takes, you can write this either in scientific no notation or you can make it sound really big, it takes nine times 10 to the sixth newtons, or nine million newtons of force in, that in the barrel of that gun. That's pretty crazy. So I hope that helps you with your impulse momentum problems, and we will see you in the next video.